Hi again, uh, here we are to continue talking about our movie app. And what I'd like to do now is take a look at how we might, um, you know, interact with, with one of these sets of stars. Let's do the buttons first, because I think that that's the easiest one to approach. So what we need to do is we need to make an IB action that we can use to detect a tap on one of the star buttons, okay? And let's talk about how that works, right? Essentially, if you have an IB action, you can assign the same action to multiple things. So all these stars can interact with the same function. We don't need a separate function for each one. Let's get, let's get started with that. So um, we'll need a view controller class for this view controller that we've created, right? So this is just a rating test, right? We're just testing out the rating system here. So let's make a new class file. Uh, iOS Coco Touch class. It should be a UI view controller. And then we'll name it a rating test, okay? We'll save it to our project. And then uh, let me go back to storyboard here. And what I want to do is I want to assign it to this view controller. So I'll, I'll click on the view controller, go to the um, identity inspector, and type in rating test view controller up here, right? Okay, so now that we've got that, um, let's set up some IB outlets and IB actions for our buttons. So here's an interesting concept, right? Let's get our rating test view controller. I'll hold the option key and click on rating test view controller and that will open it in the assistant editor over here. You know what I'm gonna do? is I'm going to turn off this. If you click inside the view controller and then you look at the properties, one of the properties down here under text settings is wrap long line. So this looks a little weird when the text wraps So because the area here is so narrow. I'll uncheck that. And now the code, you can see it just wrap, it doesn't wrap, but it just kind of extends off the right side. So that'll maybe make it a little easier for me to work here. Okay. So we've got our rating view controller here. I'll make some space at the top, right? Because this is where the class, you know, begins up here, right? So I don't want to put this inside here. I want to add some IB actions and IB outlets up here inside the class, but not inside view did load, right? So, uh, so we'll do that. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, make an outlet for the first button, okay? So uh, let me click on that button. Now remember, these buttons are embedded inside the stack view. So you can see the stack view here, and then here's the first button. So in this case, it might be easier for us to add the actions and outlets from here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use the control key and then drag from a, one of the buttons into my view controller. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an outlet, but actually I'm going to create an outlet collection. This will be a, an array of outlets. So we're going to group them all together, okay? Instead of having one separate or five separate variables for each button, we'll have one variable that contains all five items, okay? It'll essentially be an array. So the, at the top here, I'll switch outlet to outlet collection, okay? And then the name will be star buttons okay and the type will be ui button and now you can see that um, star buttons here is an array it has a square brackets around ui button so it's an array of ui buttons right okay so this right now currently if i test my array by hovering over the little dot here it, you know i can see in storyboard that it highlights all of the members of this collection and right now there's only one button there so what i'll do is I'll, I'll click and drag on this little circle right here, and I'll drag to one of the other buttons. You can do it here too, right? And now I've got two items in the collection, so I'll do it again, right? I'll get the third one. Now you can see I've got three, and then I'll drag again, and I'll get the fourth one, and then I'll drag again, and I'll get the fifth one. Right, so now all five of them are part of the collection. Now we need an, an, an action for the button, right? And I want all the buttons to share the same action. I only need one action for all five of these because they're all going to do the same thing. You tap on one of them and it's just going to set the rating, right? So um, let's start with the first button again. I'll control drag from the button into my view controller. And I'll switch the connection type to action. 
and then I'll set the name to star button tapped and then the type here I'll set to UI button right and then um, and then that's good I'll leave everything else at the default and I'll click connect and now I've got an action okay so star button tapped right and then the sender right here is a UI button right so this um, IB action right here when I hover over the little dot next to it you can see it highlights the first button but what I'd like to do is I'd like this action to also be shared by the other four buttons and so you can grab the little circle here and drag onto one of the buttons and then that button will also now be part of this action so tapping either one of these would activate the action let's do it again and you can even drag up into here so I'll, I'll drag to the third button now you can see I've got three of them I'll drag to the fourth button and then I'll just alternate I'll do one up here again and now I've got all five buttons okay so we're just setting up our storyboard there's one more thing we want to do when I tap on these buttons it's hard for me to tell them ap apart they don't have any unique identifier okay so what I'm gonna do is close um, close up the uh, the rating view controller here for a moment and open up the property inspector and when I look at the button here I'll click on it when I see the properties over on this side um, there's a property down here called tag it's under view so all UI view elements which is UI label UI button UI segment all, all, pretty much anything that begins UI and that is on the list here is a view right or it started its life as a view right it extends view to create more stuff um, so all these guys have a tag property and the tag is just an integer but it's a it's a number that you can assign to something so what I'd like to do with the tags here is I'd like to assign a number to the stars okay so maybe this first star right here I'll give it the number zero and the second star I'll give it number one so I'm just setting the tag here to one and then this third one I'll set the tag to two and then the fourth one will be tag three and the fifth one will be tag four okay so there we go so I think we're all set up now and then I'll just continue this in the next video